Good morning all. I'm in Burlington, Vermont at Lakeview Cemetery today filming another stretch and uh, saw this right here. This is Patricia and I am traveling for history. This uh, family is named Clement and let me zoom in for you. This is um, Foster Reed Clement right here. And uh, there are two uh, graves right here. Four people, though. Um, Foster Reed Clement, son of George and Julia Soul Page Clement, May 4, 1856 to, to November 19, 1933. His wife, Marguerite Prentice Guillet, daughter of Frank and Mary Jane Prentice Guillet. January 23, 1883 to May 8, 1968. Let's see, that makes him about 26, 26 or 27 years older than his wife. Interesting. And then here is Foster Reed Clement Jr. Uh, let me see if I can get a better angle so we can read it. May 23, 1906 to August 26, 1987. His wife, Louise Covey Clement, January 9, 1906 to September 14, 1995. I did read a little bit online that uh, Mr. Clement Sr. had lived on College Street and his house burned down in 1971. Um, I just see what else I can find online about them because um, if if we're newsworthy that his house burned down, uh, then I'm guessing there's there's more to this family than just this amazing monument. So I did notice some writing on the base of this. Um, I don't know the moss. Is something else. But one of the upsides of it being a wet, rainy day is maybe we can read it a little bit better. Well, or not. Something memorial erected by honor of Marguerite um, his wife, I can't read the rest of it, but sometimes in the viewfinder, it's more readable. Yeah, no, it just says wife of, huh, fascinating. But look at this, let's just do a, a walk around of this, of at least this part of the monument. Does it say anything anywhere else on this? I don't see anything else in the base. Do I? No, I think that's just, yeah, just grass down there. Okay. Let's finish our walk around of the base. And unfortunately, we can see the underside, the portion that it's sitting on, because this is rocked back a little bit. I wouldn't want to be near this thing when it when it falls over backwards, that's for sure. And look at those beautiful Corinthian columns. The Corinthian columns have the acanthus leaves, which is what these are right here. Gorgeous, isn't it? Wow. Just wow. Wow. I wonder how much this thing cost to build <laughs> because it would not have been inexpensive. Looks like granite. In fact, it looks like the gray granite of Barrie, Vermont. I would say that's granite. <laughs> and there's the name again, a little closer.
already. This is Patricia and I'm traveling for history. Hope you follow me on social media. I'm everywhere you are. And uh, until I see you again, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.